It is good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Shall we turn our Bibles to Jeremiah chapter 33, verses 3. Jeremiah chapter 33, verses 3. I read, Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things, which thou knowest not. Amen. God said, call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Amen. There are so many things God wants us to know, but we have, we are not, we've never called upon him. When we call upon him, he will show us great and mighty things which we knoweth not. Amen. We are going to be on our feet. We are going to commit the service into the hands of the Lord. We are going to pray and ask God that today... As we call upon him, he should show us great and mighty things which we know not. Amen. Our God and our Master Jesus, everlasting Father, the God who created the heavens and the earth, the one that put breath unto us before we became a living soul, the reason why we live is to worship you. This evening we have come to worship your holy name. We have come to magnify you. We have come to adore you. We have come to honor you as our Lord and our God. You said in your word that we should call unto you. And you will answer us. And you will show us great and mighty things which we know it not. Father, we are calling upon you tonight. That Lord, may you visit us, O Lord. May your, pres may your holy presence, O God, be visible in our midst this evening. Father, we want to receive from you. Therefore, we are asking the Lord, open the doors of your blessing and pour out your blessing unto, in, into the church, O God. Pour out your anointing upon us, O God, this evening. That, Father, none of us shall live here the same as we came in. But we shall live here touched by the power of your Holy Spirit. Father, we ask the Lord, touch our heart. Take every stony heart away and put in us the heart of flesh. The heart that will be receptive to your word. The heart that will bow to your word. The heart that will be convicted by the power of your Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Father, you said they profess me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Father, we don't want to be like that. We want our heart to be closer to you. Father, rekindle our faith, O oh God. Stir up our faith in you. That tonight we will not live here the same. But we shall live here blessed. We shall live here holding you high esteem. As our Lord and our God. Father, we thank you, Lord. And we bless you. In Jesus' name I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray three prayers. We are going to pray one for the church. We are going to ask the Lord. Break three chapel. God himself should leave the church. To where it really belongs. Amen. We are going to ask God to pour his anointing upon the church. And we are going to ask God to open the windows of heaven. As he said in um, Malachi chapter 3. Lord, we thank God for today. Yesterday was the first day. Today is the second day of our ministry being launched. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God says that praise ye in Psalm 148. Praise ye the Lord, praise ye the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the heights. Psalm 149 also says, Praise ye the Lord, sing unto the Lord a new song, and his praise in the congregation of the saints. Let Israel re rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Hallelujah. We are the children of Zion, so today we're going to rise up and praise and worship our king. Our King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the God who has made it possible for Breakthrough Chapel to be launched. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we please rise up and begin to make a joyful noise unto the Lord? Shout unto His holy name because it is He that has made today possible. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to the Lord. Yes. We thank God for today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord with a dance. You don't have to wait for the song. Praise the Lord with a dance. Hallelujah. Dance before the King of Kings. Dance before the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. The word of God says that we should praise the Lord. Sing God to the Lord.
to our God. He is the only God, the omnipotent God. Right now, let us begin to worship the King of Kings. Let us, be, let us begin to worship the only God. All power and might belongs to him. Yes. He is the one who raises the dead. Yes. He is the one who changes water into wine. Yes. He is the one who parts the Red Sea and brings it together. Yes. He is the one who makes the impossible possible. Hallelujah. He is the only God, the King yes. of Kings. Yes. Therefore, worship him today. Amen. Lift up your hands and give him praise. Give him worship. Worship him in any language that you feel comfortable in because the Almighty God understands every language. It doesn't have to be English. You can worship him in tongues, worship him in your local dialect. Worship him in any form that you feel comfortable. Lift up your hand today and bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Father, we come before you today, Lord. We worship you, we adore you, we magnify your holy name. Because, Lord, you alone are worthy. You alone are holy, Jehovah. All power belongs to you, Lord. All might belongs to you, Jehovah. We come before your presence today, Father. And we lift up our hands and worship before you. We lift up our hands in praise before you, Father. We say, Father, take all the glory. Take all the praise, for there is none like you, Jehovah. You alone are worthy. You alone are holy. You alone are awesome. Father, we choose to bless you today. We choose to magnify you today. We say, Father, take all the glory. We say, Father, take all the praise, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name, Father. We adore you, Jehovah. We exalt you, Jehovah. We magnify your holy name, Jehovah. There is no God like you. Father, we stand before you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We say, have your way in this place today, Lord. Take all the glory. Take all the praise. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Almighty God. Almighty
worship the ancient of days. Who worship the Lord of Lords. He alone is worthy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, thank you, Lord. You are the pillar that holds. Thank you for your sweet presence in this place, Lord. We glorify your holy name, Jehovah. Hallelujah. Father God, let our praise and our worship and our thanksgiving, Lord, come up before you as a sweet-smelling fragrance, holy, pleasing and acceptable before you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. We're not going to waste much time. And I once again want to welcome all of you. Amen. Amen. To Breakthrough Chapel International, California. Amen. Amen. Redlands. Glory be to God. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. I'm going to handle this to the man of God. But I have to introduce this great man of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you ready to be blessed? Yes. Glory be to God. Glory, glory. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Shall we bow down our heads for a word of prayer? To God be the glory and for great things he has done. Lord God Almighty, this is a great day. An awesome day that you have allowed us as your people to launch out Breakthrough Chapel International. Lord, it is not by might, it is not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. It is by the Holy Spirit. It is by the Spirit of the Almighty God that we are gathered here. And Lord, today, we want today to be a remarkable day in our lives. Yeah. And Lord, we want to live to remember that even though it was so challenging and difficult, we've made it today. We've allowed this moment to come in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Lord God Almighty, many, Lord, have come to witness this day. Many have come to support this day. Many have come, Lord God Almighty, to make sure that everything work out for this day. And I pray the Lord you remember them. I pray the Lord God Almighty, you touch their lives. My God, because they've responded. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Breakthrough Chapel will not be moved by any attack of the enemy. My God, Breakthrough Chapel, O oh Lord, will stand through the test of time. And for no weapon formed against Breakthrough Chapel shall prosper. Yeah. Every tongue that rises against your work, O oh Lord God Almighty, we condemn in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Father, we, we stand in the authority of your word and declare and decree by the token of the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that Lord God Almighty, you will build your church and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. We honor you. We bless you. Father, today, let every life represented here experience the touch of God. We pray for the man of God, the man that you have chosen for the hour. Lord, to dedicate this moment, to launch out this great ministry. Father, let your anointing flow through his life. Let, O oh God, the wisdom that you've given him, Lord, prevail today in the name of Jesus. And let the entrance of your word, O oh God, give your people light. In the name of Jesus, we honor you. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. You all welcome again. Do you all have uh, this the booklet? Do you all have one? You know, these days we just have to be wise in dealing with certain things. So, by the grace of God, my wife put all this together. Hallelujah. Amen. She put all this together. And not paying much for this. Amen. How does it look? You like it? Yes. Glory be to God. But I am going to look at, I'm going to say something just briefly before the man of God comes. Amen. 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 You know, I believe that the gift, the gift things and the calling of God are without repentance. Amen. If God called you, if God has anointed you, if God has given you his gifts, he's not going to take it back. Amen? Amen? By the grace of God, I had the opportunity, I had the opportunity to start a ministry many years ago. But along the, along the line, the Lord opened another door for me yeah. to be able to start something on my own.
Hallelujah. It is not easy for you to say you are going to start a ministry on your own. It doesn't matter who you are. Because of the challenge, the stumbling blocks, the oppositions. You know, anytime a believer wants to take a step forward that the name of the Lord will be glorified, the enemy will come with all his agents to make sure that you do not give any glory to God. Hallelujah. But as the Lord opened this door and gave me a vision, a vision to start a work, and that many through this vision will come to the saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. I say yes. I say yes, Lord, to the vision. And I did not turn back. And I started with just one person. Amen? Amen. Brother Simon, is he here? Can you be on your feet? <laughs> Amen. Amen. The Lord himself will honor you, my brother. Amen. He stood with me through thick and thin. We've, we've just been praying. Day in and day out, just waiting upon the Lord to see what the Lord will do. And as a matter of fact, we started in this shop, a small shop in uh, San Bernardino. And then our brother, Prince. Prince. Prince, can you be on your feet, please? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Say, you know what? <laughs> I think I will join this group. <laughs> Just imagine three people with my family. Okay. Amen? Amen? We say, you know what? As long as the Lord has given us the green light, we are not afraid. We will take this step of faith. So we started praying. We started praying. And then, lo and behold, our sister, Tish Anderson. Is Sister Tish here? Can we be on your feet, please? No, be on your feet, please. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> Sister Tish, join us. She was so excited. And her house was open for evening service, Bible studies. And when we pray with a few people, we will go to a Bible studies every what? Tuesday. Oh, okay. Every Tuesday, I believe. We will be there. Amen? Amen. And then we will pray. We continue. We continue. And Sister Tish, a very wise woman of God, a very wise woman of God, started looking for a place. And I believe that he located a place here. Amen? Amen. She, she located a place here and said, uh, Pastor Ben, can you check this out? And when we came, this place wasn't open. Somebody was occupying here. So we went to the office and uh, the man said, you know, if you can wait for three months, you'll be able to have this place. So we waited now. It's another thing to face the city. If you want to start a church in Redlands, brethren, it's not a joke. It's not a joke. And they're saying this, and they're saying that, and they're saying this, and they're saying that. But my brother, God just gave him a special grace. Brother Simon, he went and sat before the whole panel. Many people, just for having a church here in Redlands. God gave him the wisdom and he spoke to these people. Since then I said, hey, I didn't know you have something like that. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And finally, the city gave us the go ahead. Amen. Amen. And we have our license. I, uh, 
to the, the business uh, tax to, to operate here in Redlands. It's, it's amazing. Amen? Amen? It is beautiful. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And then by faith, steadily, we got our papers. Amen? We got all the papers to become a non-profit. Hallelujah. And operate here as a church. All these steps were not easy, brethren. All the steps we took by the grace of God. Step by step, God opens the door. Amen. Amen. And then, you know, I don't have the time to mention everybody, anybody here, all of you. But there's one woman that I want to honor here tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. First of all, before I honor this woman of God, I want to introduce my wife, beautiful wife, Adelaide Afo. Amen. Throughout all this moment, she was with me. It was not easy. It wasn't easy. Sometimes we may, talk, we, may, we may think that, oh, maybe this thing just came all of a sudden. But it doesn't come like that. Even to have one or two people to join you. Amen? Amen. Three people to join you. The beginning was really tough. There was a time I don't even have much time to sleep. And then I say, you know what? I have to quit. Mm. Are you all here? I say, you know what? Ah, it looks like, huh? Why am, I, why am I going through all these troubles? I have to throw, uh, throw away the baton. Man, man brethren, we may, be, we may be doing this and you think God is not there. That day I have a feeling, it's like somebody standing beside me saying, you dare not. So loud that I can feel it. You dare not. Amen? Amen. And I was so afraid. And said, Lord, I salute you and I'm sorry. And it's where we are. God. Amen? Amen? People will come and they will go. They will come and they will go. They will come and they will go. Sometimes, you know, today is a launching day, so I have to share some of these things with you. Sometimes there will be no money to pay the rent. Hello? Many of you are trying with your offering, with your tithes, but sometimes it does not get there. But let me tell you, one day I came to to myself, you know, and I say, you know what? I don't have to struggle. Why am I struggling? This work is for him. It's for, it's for Jesus. Why is it that I'm always struggling? And I say, Jesus, the rent, the bills here belongs to you. I surrender. I'm not going to talk too much about money. I'm not going to, you know, I surrender. Do whatever pleases you. Hello? Hello? Brethren, since then, sometimes the last week for the rent to be paid, he will show up. He will show up. And for almost three years, the Lord has sustained us. Every month, just imagine, very few people that comes here. Amen? Very, very few. But the Lord has sustained us. We always, we, are, we don't owe anything here. We do not owe anything. Amen? Amen? By the grace of God. And I want to give all this, the praise and all the glory to Jesus Christ, our Lord. And our master that we served. We salute him. 
Brethren, he is with us. He is with us. The fight is not always with the strong. But the fight is with those who will not give up. They will not give up. It doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter the challenges. It doesn't matter the difficulties. They will not give up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. So, you know, you look at this here. I will read it to, this to you. And then I'll handle it over to the man of God. It's a brief biography of myself. Amen. You can look at it as I read. My wife and I have been married for over 22 years now. I've been blessed with three children, namely Derilyn. Is Derilyn here? Okay, where is Derek? Oh, Derilyn. Can you all come? Come. Amen. Come. Where is Destiny? Amen. Yeah, these beautiful children the Lord has blessed us with. Amen. In 1984, God used me to pioneer a revival in my hometown, Pando, in Volta region, Ghana. Out of the revival, many people's lives were touched and transformed. Drug addicts, those possessed with demonic spirits, were set free from the bondages of the enemy. There was a tremendous move of the Spirit of God and many people were baptized and filled with the Holy Spirit. That was the time I received the call to go to the ministry. The call prompted me to go to the Bible school and I graduated in a biblical studies and pastoral ministries. During my first year in the Bible school, I was ordained as a minister of God. And during this period, the Lord had done many miracles through my hands. After graduation, I worked as a local pastor in Victory Bible Church for many years. In 2005, by the grace of God, I started a Victory Bible Church with six people, and the church grew greatly before I left in 2008. In 2010, I started a Bible study group in San Bernardino. And as a result, Breakthrough Chapel International, California, was birth. And today, the Lord has allowed us to launch this great work that he has begun. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. We have a potential leaders among us here. Amen. Amen. And let me tell you, these leaders... You will read about them here in this booklet. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, before, before then, I just want to honor a, a very special person among us. She doesn't talk much. This special person, are you all here? Mm. Very, very humble. I want to do this because, you see, honor is due to the ones that deserves it. Hello. Hello. She's a professional teacher. But she will come here. I have been cleaning this place. I will clean it. I will go into the, you know, the bathroom there, clean it, clean the toilet and everything. I've been doing it. And one day she says, you know, Pastor Ben, leave it for me. Leave it for me. I will take care of it. Amen? Amen. And since then, not one Sunday, she will say, Pastor Ben, I am sick. I cannot come. She will always take care of this place. And you know, recently I said, I came in and she was cleaning. I said, can I clean the chairs? And she gave me something. I said, no. She says, no. I said, no, I'll, I'll do it. And I took something that we use for cleaning these chairs. 
when I got to the middle, I said, hey, this is a great job. <laughs> that wasn't easy at all. Amen? Amen? But she would do it and would never complain. She would never say anything. Very, very humble. Sometimes, one time I left and she, she called me about the alarm. I left for almost two hours. She was still here cleaning. Amen? She was still cleaning. I have a certificate for her, but I just did not want to show it today. But we're going to give it to her, specially. Amen? Can we all, with clap offering, receive Sister Jeanette? <laughs> It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hallelujah. And with the daughter, Loline, and uh, Oman, and their children, they, they support her totally throughout this moment that this work has started. She deserves to be honored. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. We thank God for your life. And your life will never remain the same. The Lord who sees all things and knoweth all things will bless you and will open doors for you and favor you so much and cause the desire of your heart to come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Glory be to God. Glory be to God. And now, these are our leaders. Sister Pam, can you be on your feet? Thank you. Thank you. Brother Prince. Brother Prince. And then, Sister Elizabeth, she's at the back there. Sister Elizabeth. Brother Simon. Sister Rose. Amen. Sister Cassie and Brother Caesar. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Nora. Amen. And then Sister Janet, of course. Of course. Of course. Hallelujah. These are our potential leaders. And tomorrow's church service, they are going to be ordained. Amen. They are going to be ordained. Some are going to be ordained pastors and some elders, and some deacons. Amen. And please, you can still come back to support us. Tomorrow is going to be a church service, and it's going to be great. The man of God is still here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give a big clap to Jesus. Let's give a big clap to Jesus. You know, there's, there's one person that maybe I overlook it when I was just reading this, opening this book here. He is our administrator. <laughs> Amen? And I almost forgot. I apologize, my brother. Where is he? Where is Brother Koku? Yeah. Amen. <laughs> yes. He, he is the administrator of the church. He's the one that makes sure everything goes on here financially and in every aspect. Very, very humble man. Amen? Very, very, very humble man. But let me tell you, he has two master's degree. And God has blessed him so much in many areas. Brother Koku, 
May God richly bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Now is the moment we've all been waiting for. The man of God. Amen. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. See, this man of God, he is a seasoned man of God. If I say that seasoned man of God, means that he will not just move to do things anyhow. He is led, he is guided, and he is directed by the Holy Spirit. And when he speaks, you will know that that is the word the Lord is giving to him at that particular moment. He has touched many lives, thousands of lives. Today, there's a ministry where I worked as a local pastor, Victory Bible Church. He was the pioneer of that ministry. One of the pioneers. He served under the bishop and he worked so hard. And he was the one who started the Victory Bible Church in New York. And today, that church is opening many branches. Hallelujah. But at the right time, God gave him his own vision and his own ministry. Hallelujah. He's Apostle Dr. Sami and Adi. He is the general overseer of Wisdom International Network Ministries and a senior pastor of Wisdom Chapel International. He and his wife Adeline or Adeline and he has four sons. Amen. 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 And today the Lord has opened the door for him to be in our midst. To bless us. And to dedicate this moment to his glory. Shall we with standing ovation welcome standing ovation welcome <laughs> Apostle Dr. Sabin Adi. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Come on, put your hands together. Bless the Lord one more time. Is that all you can do? I said, bless the Lord. Not me, bless the Lord. Glory to God. Amen. I know some of you come from an Orthodox church where they forbid clapping and shouting and dancing. Let me tell you something. Among the charismatics and the Pentecostals, we don't mind people running and screaming across the aisles because we believe that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. Amen. Psalm 47 says that clap your hands, all ye people, shout to the Lord with a voice of triumph. How many of you here has been told that you have a few days to die. How many of you here came here with any burden upon your heart? How many of you here for about, today is Saturday, right? Yes. For about seven days now you haven't eaten. How many of you here are naked? You see, so we have a reason to thank God, right? The Bible says, clap your hands, all ye people, shout to the Lord with the voice of triumph. Uh, I wish you could do it better. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. God has been so good. He's been so marvelous. He's been so kind. Um, I believe that last night I was able to give you just a tip of the a tip of the iceberg of what God can do with the people, amen? amen. And if you are called by God, you have to be prepared to give your all, yes. because the devil is out to get you, amen? amen. Praise God. So tonight we wouldn't take my time. I take my time to do a little bit of teaching, 
so that tomorrow we can climb. I said, oh, amen. Let's bow down our heads. Whilst you're standing, let's bow down our heads. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We bless you. We give you praise for this historic moment. We worship you for an opportunity, O oh God, to qualify us to be part of your kingdom project. This is not man. This is you. It's all you. And we give you glory in Jesus' name. And let's all shout amen. 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 You may be seated. Amen. I know, I know it will come with time when you say amen, you clap and make a joyful noise. Amen. It will come. I said it will come. Tell somebody it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Amen. You know, we started not too long ago. We said two and a half years ago. And this is our beginning. And I believe in what new beginnings because God is always at a new beginning. When you read the whole Bible, it starts from Genesis. And Genesis 1, 1 says, in the beginning, God. So for people who understand transitioning, you know, transitioning is one of the most scariest things that happens to a human being because of the uncertainty of how the future is going to be. But tonight I'm here to let you know that if God is the one who holds our future, we're cool. Am I living in New York or, or I'm in California? Oh, okay, okay. Let me change and be a Californian then. <laughs> Praise God. We're cool, y'all. <laughs> Praise God. I thank God for Pastor Ben and um, the beautiful wife, Adelaide. And I bless God for what he's using their lives to do. You see, it takes God to pick a man and to bring people who understands where God is taking him to be able to take a journey into their destiny. Like he said, it's not easy, but if it's easy, everybody would have been able to do it. That's what not many people are called. Many will be called, but few be chosen to do this specific work because God will have to really test your character. Amen. There are a lot of people with charisma who doesn't have character. Amen. They preach everywhere, but everywhere they go, they leave trails. Trails that you can follow. And you know what I mean by trails? Yeah, they said they're coming to uh, Redlands and you don't want to get close because they've left a lot of trails. But Pastor Ben is a very unique man. And I want us with a standing ovation and mighty hand clap in appreciation to God to just appreciate them for availing themselves. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. I always go where God is working. So for me to travel that many miles to be here simply shows you how much I appreciate what you guys are doing. And last night I told you we're in covenant. Amen. He's part of the International Network Ministry. And we have plans and goals to take these things to the end of the world. Pastor, God bless you. He sat next to me and said, Pastor Adi, I know you. I said, okay, okay, where do you know me? In London. When? 1990. I'm that old. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Pastor, God bless you. I hear you coming from where? North Ridge, North Ridge right? North Ridge in, Ac in Accra? No, no, no. North Ridge in Accra. You know North Ridge. Yeah, we have North Ridge in Accra, right? Yeah. Oh, good. And you drove for how many hours? Just to come listen to me. Oh, I feel this good. I feel that important. Amen. Pastor, God bless you. You have a church in Northridge. Praise God. We'll connect. We'll network. It's very important that in these last days, Christians come together. We break the 